about my superstition for game days. I was like, how much time do you have? For instance, my husband has to make me a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich before every home game. If it's a new game, my mom has to have one too. And no eating it at home. It must be eaten on the road. Hi, Chiefs fans. I uh, just wanted to tell you my story. My itty bitty Hallmark Patrick Mahomes doll is by my side, as well as my home sweet Mahomes candle. Although our last game, the AFC Championship game, we were behind and all of a sudden my husband yells at me, you better light your candle. Oh my God, how could I have forgotten to do that? I screamed, ran up, lit the candle, and within 30 minutes, we are winning by a very large margin. So little itty bitty Patrick Mahomes and my home sweet Mahomes candle will always be with me for any Chiefs event. Go Chiefs, run it back. If it worked last week, let's do it again. But sometimes you need a workroom change. My dad has a special chief shirt he only pulls out when we need a little help. So our game day superstitions is prior to kickoff, my daughter-in-law must stay in the living room and watch it. My son sits in the kitchen doing food prep while the rest of us sit down in our own assigned seats. However, my sister-in-law is not allowed over till halftime. Otherwise, we lose. Can't forget about the peanut butter and jelly. I have to bring one to Arrowhead every home game. Even if I don't eat it, I have to bring it with me. So at our house, our game day rituals are all about the snacks. Um, it can range from making homemade wings to doing little wings in a blanket and deviled eggs. Um, and sometimes we just order pizza. So it's all about the food and the drinking while we're watching the game. <laughs> I have to wear this shirt for every home game at the stadium. If it's an away game, it's this shirt. Must be done. When I watch a Chiefs game, I have to watch it with someone else. Watching by myself is bad energy. I can listen to it or I can follow the updates on Twitter because they give really good like minute by minute reactions. So for watching the game, I have to watch with someone else or listen. So you know you have to clap the same, you have to say the same chant. If it doesn't work, you gotta mix it up though. Last year during the Super Bowl, I couldn't move an inch. I was so nervous and I didn't wanna mess with the mojo. So on the weekend of the AFC and the NFC championship games, my wife and I had reservations to have dinner, as I thought, in an igloo. Well, we decided to invite my youngest daughter, who is a very avid Chiefs fan. And she kind of hesitated about going, and I kept saying, oh, we'd be home by the time the game started. The service was just a little bit slow and we were running late and I could tell my daughter was really getting edgy. So I asked her if she wanted to drive home because I didn't want it to be my fault <laughs> that she was late. We were in the car, we had the game on because kickoff had happened. And as you all know, we were nine to nothing. And we get home and she gets out of the car and she goes into her house and she gets in her chair and puts her t-shirt on and we scored. So her superstition is that she has to be in her home, in her chair, in her t-shirt. I am always afraid to wear something different to the game. For instance, I wore some shorts to the Raiders game and we lost. So guess what? Those shorts took a ride in the trash truck. So what I do for my ritual for the Chiefs to win is I only watch the fourth quarter. That is the last quarter of the game. So if they're down, I watch the fourth quarter and that helps them get the W. Go Chiefs! What else? Oh yeah, so Christmas decorations, they don't come down until after the game. Last year, I left them up until after the Super Bowl and look what happened. We won the Super Bowl and we have to turn our outside lights on every night. Still, every night. So my family superstition started during the playoffs last year and we decided to carry it over into this year as well. 
We began the playoffs by, oh, I'm sorry, I can't. If this information gets in the wrong hands, it could jeopardize the championship. I can't, I can't, no, I'm sorry, I just can't risk it. The interview's over. Just to make sure that we wear a Chiefs attire every Red Friday, Melissa bribes us with food. Because the game 